So, before the start of this video, I have no clue. I believe I said corked tree. It's actually crooked tree. After putting it on untapped, I'm sitting here looking like, that's crooked tree. Did I say corked? So, in the video you're about to see, I'm guessing I said corked instead of crooked tree. So, don't flame me in the comments. I looked at it again. So there you go. Enjoy the video. Cheers. Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Cork Tree IPA. This is from Dark Horse Brewing Company. This is a revisit. So I have seen my score from Untapped. Last time I had this was 2015. So seven years ago, uh, I've not had it since, I don't believe. Uh, 6.5% ABV, 50 IBUs. There is no date on this can. Um, thank you to Tim for giving it to me. Uh, so I did not buy this, so this should be the best one because it was free. So let's go ahead and get it open, get it into a glass. Um, I don't know what time I started these. Uh, I did do a, uh, Beard Balm, uh, review first. And I've had two other ones. Man, I can smell that. Um, but, yeah, I did have it back in 2015. I gave it a four. Uh, so we'll see how my palates change, what I like. Um, I did see some, uh, I believe, from what it said. And I might as well look at the back. Yeah, uh, West Coast style IPA. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be more West Coast. We should get bitterness, maybe a lot of citrus. I don't know. Um, color of head. Off-white colored head, a little oranginess coming up through there. 6.5. Uh, you're adding a little bit more malt to get to that 7.5. Because I was going to say, it almost looks like a double IPA head. Uh, just maybe uh, more malt, a little darker malt uh, to bring some more sweetness in there. But... It is what it is. Uh, dark orange in color, especially up in here. Lots of bubbles coming up. Very hazy. Uh, haziness like a New England style, but color, I would say, like a West Coast IPA. More double than anything, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and smell. And I still have some in the can, too. First thing that comes to my head is light, sappy pine. <laughs> it's, I didn't want to, I almost didn't say it because that, it almost reminds me that smell of a double West Coast IPA more than a single. Yeah, that multi pine, uh, just a little bit of sweetness coming up. Yeah, definitely old school. I wouldn't go as far west as what they're saying, but almost like middle west uh, from the smell. I think it, it's like toned down. Maybe... Maybe a touch of citrus under that maltiness, pininess uh, that I'm getting. Definitely no um, fruit in there. So, yeah, smells, yeah, Middle West Coast IPA. Let's go ahead and taste. Sweet malt. Sweeter malt, not, I guess the taste does line up at least for my perceived tastings of a West Coast IPA. Uh, taste lines up like that, uh, like a West Coast IPA uh, in, in the front of the palate. Kind of lighter sweet malt um, in there. That sweetness kind of keeps going. Then you get that sweeter pine in the back. It, it's, it's almost like... It dries out, that pine bitterness kicks in, aftertaste, a little malty sweetness, citrus comes back in. Uh, I don't know when the last time was I had a West Coast IPA. I 
light drinking, a little lighter than I think it should be for 6.5, but again, that's me. Um, everybody's going to have a different opinion. Um, there's, I, I almost want to say a little bit of tinniness in the back, like maybe overdone in the pine area, pine bitterness, like a little too much. Especially for 50 IBUs perceived, I would say 65, somewhere in there. But yeah, um, that taste, uh, you get that light, sweeter malt, a little citrus in there, then that pine kicks in. Uh, I don't think it's balanced well as much as I would like it. 3.75 out of 5 is what I would go with now. Uh, I think that pine is a little too much for that light, malty, sweetness, citrus that you get. Uh, just a little too much in my opinion, but that's just me. You could enjoy this and be fine. Obviously, back in 2015, I was fine with it, giving it a four. So uh, right now, 3.75 out of five. Let's go ahead and check on tap. Uh, 65 of my friends have checked this in. Uh, 3.82 out of five. Uh, everyone, 94,500 people have checked it in. 3.69, I would say I'm more in line with them, even though I'm probably almost the same points off both ways. Um, Happy, smooth, malty, dark, sweet. I don't think it's overly sweet. I think I would replace dark with pine. It's not dark. It's a west. It's supposed to be a West Coast IPA. Uh, you could have a little bit more caramel malts. That's where you're getting your color from. So, yeah. I'll just look at this. Yeah, I think I remember having it in a bottle. Um, obviously, I believe I have a playlist for Dark Horse, so you can use that if you would like to go check out uh, the older review. Um, out to Eat. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look through all these. But yeah, if this sounds good to you, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, cheers.